Hello, this is a video on how to build a prosthetic leg out of some components. This is a socket. This is an Oser Flexfoot LP. This is an Autobach 3R95 with a sized pylon. For the purpose of this video, we're going to continue with my sizes. I know this has already fit to me, but I'll try to explain on how to size it if you're using new components. Um, the tools that you need, measuring tape, um, pipe cutter, number four allen key, and some blocks. You could use notepads or whatever you got. Okay. First thing that you have to do, socket should have a kind of a female cup that's threaded and an Allen key bolt. My knee component only has a pyramid on the inside. That's the pyramid. And it's equipped with a, a type of an adapter that goes on the top so that it can go into that cup. Uh, the bottom of this knee also has a pyramid. It has the, right here, uh, another adapter that attaches it to the pylon. And this bottom portion of the pylon is welded with another pyramid adapter. The top of that foot has the pyramid adapter on that end. Okay, the pylon here usually comes a little bit longer and this piece here, this is an allen key that comes out and this piece will come off the pylon and will allow you to adjust it again for the purpose of this uh, we're not going to really get into that so let's do this first things first take your socket put the knee joint with the adapter on it into the cup holder here should thread pretty easily try and get it all the way in at this point it's a little bit sideways for me I'm going to rotate it backwards to where about where I think the knee needs to be and I'm going to temporarily set this bolt here I'll fix it more when I get to the next stage Number four Allen key should be sized to uh, it's the right one. When this cup gets the bolt tightened, it tightens itself around the threaded portion of the adapter and it becomes difficult to move. We just want to temporarily set it. Okay, here have that adapter pyramid goes into it I use two set screws that I take out usually the same ones every time okay again this is going to be a temporary uh, placement we're going to adjust it in a few moments I'm going to keep this video short and sweet because it shouldn't take that long and again this is for like uh, Temporary adjustments if you break a component or you gotta swap something out or uh, something that doesn't feel right and you just need to make some changes. Okay, so it's pretty, it's set in there, it's not super tight. We're gonna get to the setting in a moment. Okay, now I know that mine is sized either accurate or pretty close. Okay, see it's pretty, it's pretty well to my size. Okay, so let me explain. If it was not to the size, what we would do is we would loosen this component here, and this component 
we'll take the pylon out of the adapter. Also, this is the rotational component on my prosthesis, so if I need to toe in or toe out, this is where I would make that adjustment. It's pretty tight still. Let's see if maybe I can get it out or not. I haven't made any adjustments to this one in a very long time, so let's see. Okay, you can see that the foot's starting to twist a little bit. Okay. Now, this is what the top of the pylon looks, and this is the component still on the knee. If you had a new pylon, what you would do is you would cut the pylon so that it's too long and make the adjustments with your blocks or your boards as a type of uh, adjusting mechanism. Okay, so let's pretend it's a new pylon. This pipe cutter would get put on there like that, and then you'd spin it around. Again, you want the pylon at least an inch or two too long, about an inch long, maybe a little bit more. Okay, once you cut that off, you assemble the foot back into the knee joint. And it's a kind of fitting that we're doing here, so we're going to do that first. And then we're going to stand on the uh, notepads or boards so that you know how much you have to cut off. Now, this is a one-shot deal, and these components are very expensive, so you want to make sure that you get it right the first time. Take your time, use a tape measure. You know, measure your boards, measure your components, make sure you get it 100% right the very first time. If you are going to err, air, err so that you cut too little off the pylon. But again, you have to leave yourself at least a half inch of room to make the cut. Otherwise, that cutter won't work. Okay. Once so you get it pretty close, you can put it back together. Okay, now let's pretend that you cut your, pot, your pylon already and it's 100% set to fit. Like mine is. Again, you're going to make a temporary adjustment here. Now here's where you will start to make your final adjustments. Okay, I'm going to use a prosthetic liner. If you have a liner, put it on for this point. Do not try to do this without a liner because your adjustments are not going to be right. So now, the first adjustment that I will make is I'll try to get the knee at the right angle. So I think my knee is, uh, I want it a little bit out. Feels pretty good like that. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one down. Again, this piece tightens the threads on that adapter. It's important to get this thing very tight so it doesn't slide around. It's a number four metric Allen key. Do not try to use the wrong one because you'll strip the bolts. And then they're worthless. Okay. Um, the next thing I'll do is the rotational aspect on the foot, toe in, toe out. I like the toe to be a little bit out, but not too much because then it interferes with how I ride my bike. Okay, that feels good there. Tighten that one down. Okay, now when you set the pyramid on the top one, do it pretty much even. So take the screws out and then put them in about the same level. You can see that mine are all slightly in, but not so much. Um, they're all basically the same. The same thing for uh, the bottom of the knee. You want them all to be about the same distance of how far in they are. 
mine are all about the same. I don't typically make my adjustments there. I make my adjustments on the foot. So I'm up, I'm up to that point now. Uh, with the pyramid, it feels like it's the opposite of the way that they go. So for example, if I, um, I'm gonna take this back off so I can show. If I take, for example, this screw out and loosen this one up and then tighten the one on the other side over here, what that will do is that will tend to uh, that will okay so if I if I tighten the screw on the inside of the foot it will roll the foot to the to the inside and if I loosen the one on the inside and tighten the one on the outside it will uh, roll the foot to the outside and it's the same thing on the back uh, if I if I tighten the bolt on the front and loosen the bolt on the back of the foot it will make the toe go down and if I loosen the bolt in the front and tighten the bolt in the back it will make the toe go up okay so let's go ahead and do that one. For the side to side rotation, I really keep it pretty much flat and don't mess with that too much. What well, the important one is the, the toe up, toe down. Right now I feel that my toe might be down a little bit. So what I will do, well, I mean the toe will be up, so I wanna, I wanna push the toe down so to push the toe down, the way I'll do that is uh, loosen the one on the back, tighten the one on the front, You should immediately feel it starting to catch. Make sure that you tighten it up all the way so that you don't have any loose components on your prosthetic device. Okay, and that's pretty much how you do it. Um, after you have your components all installed, go through and make sure that every set screw is tightened down. Uh, you may want to use Loctite because then they won't move around and they won't jar loose. I know that most of these are tight. And voila, awesome prosthetic leg. Thanks for watching. Go Bears.